How's it going? I'm Cosmo James, and this is my review of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, or Multiverse of Blathering, or Yammering, or me just ram rambling. There we go. That's a good one. Multiverse of Rambling, because honestly, I'm going to be all over the place. I just saw it, and I'm just going to give you my off-the-cuff reaction and review of this movie. You'll be seeing the trailer because that's all I have. I can't show you the movie because you know how it is. So, yeah, uh, I just saw it and, uh, um, well, I didn't hate it. Let's go with that. That's a good one to go with. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hate it. It wasn't too bad. It was, it was okay. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It was okay. Yeah, that's, that's a glowing review right there it had its moments it had some moments i like and some i didn't i'll just say this much the movie didn't really make much sense you're all over the place and at times it feels like it drags right at the end you kind of wanted to just end already like come on wrap it up let's go come on it also felt like it was two movies in one it was a doctor strange movie and it was a wanda movie and they're fighting you know, figure out which movie it's going to be. It also didn't help that it was felt like it was a Marvel movie and it was a Sam Raimi movie because, well, Sam Raimi directed this. There is a lot of, I have to admit, there is a lot of Sam Raimi-isms in this movie. And I didn't hate it because I, I notice it every so often it pops up. Like, oh, this is Sam Raimi. But it felt like he was being restrained in this movie. They, like they want, he wanted to do more Sam Raimi stuff, but Marvel would say, no, 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 you can't do that. You got to ring it in. And yeah, character wise, I have to admit, I was kind of hesitant with, uh, what's her name? America Chavez. I do not like her in the comics. She is, she's insufferable in the comics, but in this movie, she's all right. I will say, um, she has hips. Oh, wow. She has hips. And she's 15. Huh. Well, yep, that sounds like the FBI knocking at my door. So it's been fun. So I'll talk to you guys later. All joking aside, I didn't hate her. So that's a good thing. She wasn't insufferable, but not much, really. I don't know why she was in this movie to begin with. She's a MacGuffin. She's a walking MacGuffin. There's like multiple walking, well, not walking MacGuffins, but multiple MacGuffins. There's the... The evil book and the good book. I'm just going to call the evil book the Necronomicon. You will get that reference. And the good book, it comes into play every so often, but not really. There's the Necronomicon, the good book, and the walking MacGuffin, America Chavez. And it seems like Wanda wants the good book. Actually, no, she doesn't want the good book. She's been using the Necronomicon to try to find America Chavez because she's trying to get to her kids. I will say this much. I hate what they did to Wanda. I get she does kind of become evil eh, in the comics, sure. I They pulled a Game of Thrones with her. If you know what I mean, season 8, they just it feels like they just flipped her auto automatically. Like, out of nowhere, she's evil now because she wants to get her kids. She's stupid. I'm just going to say this. She's stupid. Okay, I get it. She's being corrupted by the Necronomicon. Okay, fine. But she's a dumbass. She wants to get her kids back. Fine. Why doesn't she just make her own kids? Like, you know, do it with someone or go get a donor. You know, make your own family. No, she wants exactly those two kids. I get it. But it's still pretty damn stupid. You're literally killing hundreds of people just to get what you want. And you could do it the easy way. Ah. Uh. I just did not like what they did to Wanda in this movie one bit. Not at all. They could have done it a lot better. You could have made it work, her becoming evil. But it felt like, again, two movies roll into one. And it feels like I'm missing something. I am missing an entire different movie. And yeah. They even kind of just wave off WandaVision. Oh, there was a line that I did not like one bit. So Doctor Strange meets up with Wanda. Then Wanda says, oh, are you here to, you know, talk to me about what happened at um, that 
It was not a village, but that town that she took over and corrupted and pretty much almost killed everyone. And then Doctor Strange says, oh, no, I'm not here to talk about that. You you did all right. You put everything back together. Like, what? She literally, she's a terrorist. She's literally a terrorist. And you just kind of just wave it off like it's nothing. Like, Jesus. Okay, maybe I'm not liking this movie as much. <laughs> and Doctor Strange, um, I feel like they made him stupider. She, he does have his moments. And it seems like it's, again, I'm going to keep going back to it. It feels like two movies roll into one. Because one of them is Wanda trying to get her kids back. The other one is Doctor Strange trying to get on with his life. And he does have his moments. I still feel like they just dumbed him down. Even worse than what they have been doing to him since, what, uh, No Way Home? Uh, yeah, I don't like this one bit. There's also the multiverse. I don't mind them playing with the multiverse. It's just, it feels like Marvel doesn't want to go full multiverse in this. They keep kind of just like tippy-toeing in it. Like, oh, maybe we'll do it. No, 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 we're not going to do it. Maybe we'll do it. Uh, okay, okay, bring it back, bring it back. I just, I was worried that it's going to be too, you know, fan servicey, too member berries. I'm going to be straight with you. I don't mind member berries, okay? I know a lot of people use it as a curse word nowadays. I don't mind it if it's done right. In this movie, they didn't go too ham on it as I thought they would be. But is it done right? Eh, there is a scene that happens midway through the movie that you see some characters. I don't know if I should just spoil them. You know what? Spoiler. Spoiler alert, right here. If you don't want to hear anything else, I don't know why you're watching my review if you don't want to hear anything else, but spoiler alert right now, right here. So Doctor Strange gets captured and he meets up with the Illuminati and the Illuminati has Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, Captain Marvel. She's still insufferable. What is up with Captain Marvel being insufferable in the MCU? Jesus Christ, every single time. It's something with the suit, isn't it? She is so insufferable still. And it's a different character, person, and character. Huh. Uh, see, Captain Carter, I don't know why she's here, but okay, cool, fine. Uh, who else? Black Boat, I know a little bit about him, not very much. He's, I think he's in humans, if I remember right. And if he talks, he could pretty much kill you because he has like sonic waves, stuff like that. So he's a mute, practically. Uh, that guy the guy that was trying to the black guy that's been trying to kill dr strange i don't remember his name that's how little i care about him he's another wizard and he's part of it and there's two other characters you've probably seen him uh professor x he shows up with his yellow hover share and the big one that everyone was wondering the fan uh well fantastic four from the fantastic four mr fantastic uh Tans Ugh, I can't say it right now. Mr. Fantastic shows up. And he's played by... Oh, I cannot remember his name. It's a fan pick. He's, uh... Oh, what is his name? He's from The Office. I know him. I don't remember his name at the moment. It's the tall guy. It's the main, one of the main characters. You know exactly who I'm talking about. At this point, like I said, I'm just gonna be rambling here. I'm just going off the cuff. But you know exactly who I'm talking about. So he's Mr. Fantastic. That's cool. They get a little bit of time to shine. And they're trying to stop Doctor Strange. Because in that, his, that universe, uh, he became evil and stuff like that. And then Wanda ends up there. Because she possesses another body. Okay, okay. Here's this part I don't get. So the book, the Necronomicon, lets you possess other bodies from other universes. Okay, you're, you're with me? So if you could, uh, you know, possess other bodies from other universes, why doesn't Wanda just possess another Wanda from a universe that has the kids and just, you know, get her fixed like that? It, there you go. Problem solved. Why doesn't she just do that? Why isn't there a spell that just lets you inhabit it or possess another Wanda from another universe and stick with that one? Uh, that's the part that doesn't make sense. Like, this... Oh, my God. Okay, well, I'm going to keep going. So she possesses, possesses that Wanda from that universe. She ends up killing everyone from the Illuminati. I will have to, 
I would have to admit, the deaths for all of them were pretty gruesome. Uh, uh, to a point, it really skirts the line of PG-13. I think there was one of them, the way uh, Black Bolt died. That was kind of degrading, actually. Because Mr. Fantastic... Sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, Mr. Fantastic... I was thinking of The Incredibles for a weird reason, but Mr. Fantastic dies horribly by Wanda, and also Black Bolt, and Captain Carter, and uh, Captain Marvel. I don't think Captain Marvel dies, honestly. She gets hurt really bad, but she doesn't really look like she died. And then uh, Professor X gets his neck snapped. Yeah, everyone just dies. It was like sh shock. It was all a shock moment. That's what it was. You introduce these people, and they all just die. That's it. They're in there for like 10 minutes of the movie, and that's it. And kind of wasted, honestly. I'm kind of disappointed. Like I said, I was worried that it's going to be too fan you know, fan service y, but I'm actually kind of disappointed it wasn't. You could play around with so much with the multiverse, but again, like I said, they keep trying to just bring it back. Like, they don't want to skirt the line too hard. Crap's sake, look at No Way Home. How many Spider-Mans were they? Couldn't they have got, gone, like, 10 other Wandas and 10 other Doctor Stranges and got, you know, went after Scarlet Witch? There we go. That's it. That would have been actually pretty cool, but nope, they couldn't even do that. Ah, uh, in the end, they stop Wanda. She realizes, oh, I'm evil. I'm the one that's bad. Oh, my God. If you notice this, I'm going to gripe a little. If you notice this in most MCU movies or most movies nowadays, the man cannot fight the woman. I know you're thinking, oh, no, that's not true. No, no, no. Pay attention when you're watching certain movies. The man cannot fight the woman. That is a no-no. This happens in this movie. Doctor Strange does not really fight Scarlet Witch at all. He always gets his butt whoop or he's fighting another guy. And even at the end, they don't really fight. Because in the end, America Chavez learns how to control her powers. She opens a dimension to where the other Wanda, the one that was being possessed by the main Wanda, and she sees her kids and... She realizes, oh no, I've been evil all along. I'm the bad guy here. Oh no. So, after killing hundreds of people, and the Illuminati, and people that had no, you know, no reason to be here, and they kill she killed her, killed them, and she finally realizes in the end, I'm, I'm the bad guy. So, she ends up destroying all the Necronomicons from every universe, and she kills herself. Allegedly. They didn't really show her die. So, take what you want from that. So, our main Wanda, Wanda from 616, ends up dying. So, there we go. She's dead. It's over. We're not going to see her ever again. Wasted potential. I really like Wanda, and I do not like what they did with her. This, you know, turning to the dark side could work, but you need a build up. And this, it feels like I'm missing episodes or a movie or two to get to this point. Okay, maybe I didn't like it as much as I did. <laughs> there is some moments I like. Like I said, I didn't hate America Chavez. And Doctor Strange does have some moments. And uh, I didn't mind seeing... Uh, what's his name? Professor X or Mr. Fantastic. I don't care about Captain Marvel still. Ugh, I hate that. I hate that woman so much. Whatever skin suit she's wearing or different person, she's still horrible. Um... Other than that, it really didn't feel like it was a Doctor Strange movie. Or it was just like... It felt like it was three movies. Four, even. It was five. <laughs> five movies into one. It was a Sam Raimi movie. It was a Marvel movie. It was a Wanda movie. It was a Doctor Strange movie. And it was a America Chavez movie. That's what it felt like. And it was all mushed into one. And this is what you get. Ah... Uh, in the end, I didn't hate it. No, no, no. Hate is a strong word. I do not use hate for certain things. Will I watch it again? Eh, if I... If it, was, if it was on, sure. 
But if I'm like, would I go watch it in the theaters again? I don't know. Maybe just watch it on Disney Plus or something like that. I don't know if I would watch it again. Huh. I didn't, I didn't hate it though. It is not horrible. The only movie that's horrible is Captain Marvel. I hate that movie so much. And it's nowhere near Captain Marvel. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it's below some of my favorite Marvel movies, though. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's neck and neck with the original Doctor Strange. But even that one's a bit more consistent than this one. So it's a little lower than that one. Uh, I don't know where I put this. I would say... Give me a second. I will give it a three, an average. Like, it's okay if you just go in just to have stupid fun. You'll probably be entertained. But if you're a MCU fan or you're into Marvel and you don't shut off your brain, I hate using that saying because I think it's so stupid that, oh, I have to shut off my brain to have, you know, it being entertained by this movie. No, no, no. You don't need to shut off your brain to have fun, okay? I just hate saying that. But, like I was saying, if you think about it, and you're into this stuff, it breaks a lot. It has no continuity. It's inconsistent. And it has no rules. At this time, I don't know why it, the MCU hasn't just been rebooted. Because it feels like every movie is its own thing. And it's fine. I don't mind MCU, I mean, well, superhero movies that be their own story. But... You kind of made the MCU into one big, you know, follow up to the next thing. And I think that's the problem that's happening with a lot of the movies nowadays that they don't follow up. They're trying to do their own thing. And if you're going to want to do that, you got to stop making it into a well, into the MCU. So, I don't know. I could even give this a 2, honestly. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Huh, I don't have it on me. I guess I forgot to put it on my editing tool. Right. Well, you get the idea. I think it's a... I think it's either a... A two or a three. A two being mediocre. To a three being average. If it's between a high two or a low three. But if you're really into it, you're going to probably find a lot of flaws. Because honestly, the more I think about this... The more a lot of things doesn't make sense. Ah, uh, right. Okay, I'm done with this. That's it. That's on my review. It's, uh, it's um, it's mediocre to okay, average. There you go. Mediocre to average. That's 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 it. That's my review. I'm done with this. Yeah. Until next time. See ya.